Alrighty, hello, hello guys, we're back, hope everyone had a nice weekend, we're here April 25th, 2021, gonna continue a little bit more, Siege of Dragon Space, some fun stuff, so everyone doing fine, let's do a little bit here, got some fun schedule, activating soon, and some very exciting good night announcements coming, so for now, let's go ahead, hop right to it, do you believe we should be set, and we'll get back to it, chill other things later, showcase other Schedule other things in a bit. For now, let's just hop straight to the action. I can show you guys that soon this coming week. So, here we go for now. Let's get right on it. Get a little bit of this tonight. It'll be fun. Figure out we have so many more spells, so many more possibilities. So, nice time. And no delay. Looking good. Wonderful as it should be. We carry on very exciting stuff this week. One of the most monumental weeks we've had coming up. Some big announcements, big stuff. Here at the end of April, so looking forward. It's now Hasbro. They worked with Hasbro. <coughs> Other ones like uh, the Pac Man Adventures Through Time. That was good. Hasbro. Only weeks ago. The malevolent Saravak brought the city of Baldur State to the edge of the... Right, testing, testing. Believe we should be all good. Got the chat up. We are set. Alright, try to speak clearly. Get this going. Let's continue where we left off the barracks before we carry on across the bridge. Siege of Dragon Spear. Alrighty. Here we go. It's plugging this week some other exciting stuff in the works. Get some setup. The schedule will become active. Looking like in May. So coming up very soon. We shall showcase all that. Get to some more tomorrow. So working on the stream. Off stream today. Offline. 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 Some good stuff in place and soon on the way. So let's pick it up there, the quick save. We we're looking at the spells, so we should figure that out, then figure out a little more at the shop, the blacksmith. And then we're going to the other camp. We can do the bag of holding, another vendor. But for now. Look at the spells and the stuff we can do right here. So Bailoth. Turns out he has many more. Spells to learn. Okay, not Bela. The other ones. So, Bessonia, Memorize. Let's do with Edwin. He's technically the first. She doesn't have any. He's got the Priest. Dorn doesn't have any right now. Sorcerer and Shamans. Yeah, don't use them. But he, he being a Conjurer, he does use some. So we've got Color Spray, Sleep and Armor. Scorching Hands. Glitter Dust, Monster Summoning 1 times 5, basically. Nothing in 4 yet. We we'll need to learn some level 4 spells. <laughs> Nothing in 5, same thing. 6, 7, 8, 9. So at least you got the Monster Summoning on top of what we had before. And some little Glitter Dust and Scorchers, so that would help. Let's check Vesonia. She's got level 1 all set. Blessing, Sanctuary, Heal. Good. Level two. We can do one more of these. So, spiritual hammer, some of the shillelagh, but spiritual hammer spell brings into existence magical hammer, which you can use for the duration. Yeah, sim similar as shillelagh looks like. Just a weapon boost, kind of like bound weapon in Skyrim. No alignment. We don't really need find traps. We already have Ashia chant. That was. I think we have that already, yeah. We got that there. Got a chant, we got slow poison. Do we really need that with so many antidotes? I kinda got it. So let's unmemorize those. What else have we got here? Hold person, that's usually pretty helpful. Silence, 15 feet radius, that could help for... But it would also affect our party, so do we really want to use that? Resist fire and coal, that helps for certain elements. Draw upon holy might. Grant her power for a short period. 
strength, constitution, dexterity are raised by one point for every three levels of the caster. Third level caster would have her abilities raised by one, while the twelfth level caster would have her abilities raised by four. So this is another personal one. Probably would help since she is a little squishy in melee combat all. Bardic skin, another armor one. Let's see what aid is. <coughs> Sip of the spell gains the benefit of a blessed spell. Special bonus. Actually have more hit points than her current maximum. So this is another... Oh, it can be for anyone, though. It's not just the caster. So, it's kind of like a minor blessing with more health points, so it just helps for tanks, so... Wouldn't hurt for Imoloth, such. Oh, alignment, we don't need Flame Blade. Let me see for this. We need Flame Blade on top of our already Flaming Blade. Uh, area of Effect Special. Huh. Blazing ray of red hot fire to spring forth from her hand, this blade like ray is wielded as if it were a sword that the caster already knows how to use. Hence there are no bonuses or penalties. If the caster successfully hits with the flame blade in melee combat, the creature strikes suffers slashing plus fire damage. So not too bad, honestly. But do we need it? That's the question. Um Pretty fun. See, screws and all. So it's worth a try, I guess. We don't really know until we try it, but something else to work with. All right, any level three? We've got one more here. Miscast magic, rigid thinking, strength of one. This is for party members. Strength of eighteen over seventy-five. Strength is lowered. Huh. So that might actually... <laughs> Alright, let's see. Un unholy Blight. Negative energy plane. Order to open a channel between it and the targets. The result, any good creatures within the spell's area of effect take damage per level of the caster. Okay. Not too bad, then. Interesting. I'm checking this stuff out. Get a feel for it, you know. Alrighty. Well... Kind of their area of effect spell, right? Penalty to all their rolls. So this is for everyone. Any good creatures within the spell's area. So it doesn't work on evil creatures. <laughs> Interesting. Glyph of warding. Let me see. Holy smite. That's how they're like fire. Or... Any evil creatures take damage. Yeah, so these are very alignment-specific ones for monsters and anyone else. Cure disease. Dis dispel magic pretty good. Bailoth has that, but probably want her to have somebody else have it too, <laughs> just in case. All right, now we have level four. Cloak of fear, radiate personal aura of fear, 15 radius. All other characters and creatures then the aura must roll. So that would actually affect our party member. Or party members are immune to the effects. Although the aura of fear may still disturb them. Interesting. Well, at least we're immune to the effects. I don't know how it dis disturb us. We can do straight up poison. And protection. Protection from evil. Free action. Always pretty helpful. Animal summoning. There we go. So. Just thinking. Let's see. Holy power. Skill of a fighter of the same level. Priest strength orders grow up to 18. If it is normally higher, her thaco becomes that of a fighter of the same level, and she gains one typical hit point per level. This will last for the duration of the spell or until the spell. So this would help her a lot for melee fighting, but there's a lot of things we haven't seen on this yet, so. Got room for two, but I could take out that, yeah, mental domination. It's not that great. And what's this one? Protection. Defensive harmony. That one's. Pretty helpful. Let's see what Death Ward is. Protects from tar protects the target from all forms of death, magic for the duration of the spell. This includes, but is not limited to, Disintegrate, Power Word, Kill, Death Spell, and Finger of Death. We've never even seen those in this game, <laughs> this whole playthrough. But they sound like some uh, powerful one-time casts. So. Don't think we need to worry about it, but it could be helpful. Let's do some animal summoning. We could always use more summons to help us out. 
Holy power if we want her to be a better tank. I mean, she uses the sling too, but... Uh, let's try it out. And lesser restorations, kind of... Somewhere this one, but free action, pretty good for web, hold person, grease, and entangle. Uh, doesn't help with panic and stuff. Could try for Cloak of Fear under that. Negative plane protection. Vampires. Positive energy plane. Could try straight up poison. Poison victims who fail their throw. It's just a poison spell, basically. Hmm. Farsight is, uh... Click on a section of the map that you want to view. For the duration of the spell, the caster can spy on that area, noting creatures and fortifications. So that's kind of a helpful scouting one, but we already have the speed on our side. We don't really need it. I'll just save it for these other things. So free action be good for webs, grease, and tangle, hold person. Not exactly fear and those other things, but... It's pretty good. Or we could do another cause... Cause serious wounds, not cure. Cause serious wounds. <laughs> 17 points of damage. Next attack that the priest makes will inflict this effect. However, she only has two rounds to make the attack before the spell fizzles. If the priest misses the target creature, the spell is wasted. There is no saving throw. So that's basically a lead up to damage with any weapon, right? So. Eh, it's a decent lead up, but, uh. Probably needs some more defensive things since she is kind of. Clerics specialize more in helping the party than dealing damage to the enemies, so. Do you got the one animal summoning? I guess we could try free action. Yeah, defensive harmony. Don't need these other ones, so. Free action at least gives us some options for. Well, we do get a lot of webs and stuff, so. I don't know. Might as well try. Alright, any level 5? Yes, we got one. Champion strength, cause critical wounds. Same thing as. Oh, slay living. <laughs> Touch an opponent, opponent in order to visit the effect upon them. Item is created upon casting. The next attack the priest makes, which must happen the next three rounds, will use this item. If the first attack misses, the item disappears and the spell is wasted. However, if the attack succeeds, the victim automatically takes 2d6 plus 9 damage. Also, she must make a save for spell or be instantly killed. Slay living can be dispelled if cast between the casting of this spell and the necessary attack. Alright, true seeing, illusions, fan phantasms, 120 feet, raise dead, that's the one we've always <laughs> needed for the priest one, if you don't want to just keep going to the priest and stuff, but these are some advanced stuff, just at level 5, so, pretty cool actually. We never ha had known, known we had this option this whole time for the main playthrough, and now we do it for Siege of Dragon Spear, so. Better find it out a hundred hours in than ever. Absolutely. Oh well. Alright. Uh, so yeah, Raise Dead will priest cast a Raise Dead spell. She can restore life to a dwarf, gnome, half elf, halfling elf, half orc, or human. Note that the body of the person must be whole, otherwise, missing parts are still missing. When the person is brought back to life, the person has but one hit point when raised and must regain the rest by natural healing or curative magic. So, takes nine casting time. Just saves us a trip from the to the priest, pretty much. But let's see what this other one, Flame Strike, was basically the Wand of Heaven, Greater Command. It's like a sleep one we've had before. Champion Strength is just another melee one, probably. That go Animal Suddenly Two, Chaotic Commands. We have the Scroll for. Slay a living could be art. Repulse undead. Uh, just draws undead away for the most part. Righteous magic enhances her physical prowess, transforming her into a juggernaut of destruction. The effect adds one temporary hit point per level of the caster. Strength every three levels of the caster, maximum 25. That's pretty good. It's like improved to these other ones. But yeah, raise dead when her mass cures for <coughs> unity of the group, hit points, only insofar as the creature does not sustain further damage, caused wounds will heal or can be cured, just as any normal injury. Very good. 
magic resistance. 2% per level to cast up to a maximum 40% at 20th level. The resistance is set to that of the target already has more magic resistance than the priest would confer. It will actually lower it to the set value. This effect will last. So a lot of these are contradictory. don't actually help. They just lower the base stat if you had a high resistance or strength of the stuff to start with. So for now, I'm thinking, uh, I mean, these other ones are fun, but we've kind of always wanted to raise dead just for <laughs> dwarf, gnome, half elf, halfling. Elf, half orc, or human. Doesn't work on the goblin if we got the heroes. Of <laughs> but yeah, that'll be fine, I think. So, Ray's dead for now. And nothing at six or seven. Cool. Looking pretty good, though. Fill that up a bit. Bailoth has got his. He learns them when he levels up, I guess. And that's it. Alright. Not bad. Troll. Why are the trolls attacking out? What? They break out of the cage. It's kind of far away from where I am right now. Fine. Awkward. But, um. Let's see what they say for this. We didn't do this last time. McKinn is the goblin shaman we're not even using because she's neutral and be happy with the evil party. So, let's see what they do, though. I'll get right on it. Many thanks, Miss Hillcarver. I'll take my leave now. Forget the goblin. Let's see what else you got. Now give me a few hours, I'll have something for you then. Okay then. <laughs> Let's see then. I mean, we could just give it to her for she helps us with the main battles and stuff. I imagine she comes with us the other. People that aren't actually in our party, but we still recruited and so. Yes, 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 the goblin's armor is complete. Here, see for yourself. Now if you'll excuse me, this whole mess has put me way behind schedule. Take care and remember what I said. You need anything, you come to me. We got Jeg's Leathers. Set of armor made specifically for the goblin and came by the dwarven smith Jeg Hillcarver. This leather armor has been significantly modified so that it can be worn by its intended user. A valuable item indeed, at least to a goblin. For others, it functions as little more than dead weight. Fire and cold resistance. Decent armor. For the goblin, nobody else. See if we can sell it to who made it. That'd be really funny. <sighs> no, I didn't think so. Okay. Uh, could get this boomerang, but I didn't want to get the bag of holding. Just for the rest of the playthrough. Like, all right, we don't really need stud leather armor, do we? Plus one. We don't need this dagger. Don't need this long sword. Let's put my phone on silent. Let's check, uh, yeah, make sure everyone has their best currently, so, stud leather armor plus one is just, how is that not better than the base one? Oh, Alright, right. can sell that then, sell these things. Did you already empty that or not? We've got more things in the gym bag again. Of course. One the frost, might as well use. One the fear. Always pretty good. He's got a shield to use. Then we get other levels of spells to learn, but at least it tells you what level it is. Cata commands, for example, is level 5. She can learn that, but nothing to write it. Alright, we can sell these other things. The books are just lore items. Sell all these other miscellaneous things. Protection from cold if we run into any cold enemies. And we do have greater restoration and two serious wounds. That's what we already learned. So we do have to rest though to learn all the stuff that we just picked right now. Whoops. Opened up Google by accident. Alright. And the ward still we don't need anymore. Don't need the shield amulet anymore. So pretty much good to sell anything that they're not using, or I set aside specifically for for other purposes. Let's put that in there. All right, let's figure off with him. Armoring McKin. Okay, so he doesn't want to buy anything legit. Oh, he does. Great. We got all this new stuff in there. Sell it up. That'll make it easy. Definitely afford the gym of the bag of holding now. Absolutely. They got a lot of money from that cheap. Ten thousand. Or 
a thousand. <laughs> yeah, thirty-four thousand. So, yeah, we got a ten thousand. Pretty much. All right, one gift loss. Don't really need. Wardstone. We don't need. But keep it anyway, longbow. Other armor. Other shield. Axe. Plate mail. Dorn already has the other amazing plate mail. Tinder box. I never needed, but just hold on to it. Quarter set plus one, don't really need. I got the other stuff. Better maces. Battle tank guard, cloak of protection. You can have that. And all these miscellaneous items. Molly hands, longbow. Why not just save up, get some better ammo? We're not have to think about it too hard. Really be careful with all our moves and screw ourselves out of good equipment, but. Worst came to worst, I suppose we could buy it back, but <laughs> very much a ripoff if you do that. Alright, well, we'll move on. We can rest here shortly, get to camp, or however it works out. But at least we're healed for now. We did rest that one time, so let's go give uh, Kim her armor, new armor. Let's see what they're fighting all these trolls out here for. I don't know which way I should go out, but this is the easiest. Kali disappeared for whatever reason there, so. Some interesting interactions, and I don't know why they're fighting these trolls. A simple matter. We'll find out. We we're just exploring, then they attacked the fort. And now the trolls are attacking them. I don't think it's just the ones that escaped the cage. Probably not. Yes, such menial tasks. Hurry up, though. We're more than mercenaries. Check it out. Scattered. Order is what matters. Soldiers. Where is this troll you were talking about? The ones they left in the cage are still in the cage, right? So where are these? Oh, it is. He's fighting them in the cage. Well, that's smart. Be direct. If he ever gets here in time, he could use the troll decapitation sword, but <laughs> that's ideal for the trolls, and it does do fire damage. Yeah, it's a really good sword. But we already have the main fire sword. What is it? Uh, edge of the world. Burning Earth. Oh, yeah, Burning Earth, Varscona, and then he has Edge of the World. His main weapon, the World's Edge. Pretty awesome. Alright, why are you fighting this guy? Your life shall be mine. So God, that's enough. Look. Let's see. Just take care of the prisoner that he didn't want to leave alone for some reason. Fine. That'll work. Is the other one gonna behave? Set them free and if we wanted to. That's okay. It's the only one that isn't interactable. What? For some reason he didn't like that troll in there, so we'll leave the other one be, I guess, until we encounter more in the wild. Alright, I think we're ready to continue up the bridge, though. Hello there. Adventure. It's a mercenary. Flaming Fist came through us for us during the battle. It almost makes me makes up for their arrogance. Gotcha. Hello there. So, fellow adventurer. And Kali, there you are, you Yes? Well, what do you need from me? So sneaky, just disappearing right after I talked to him the first time. I'd have you by my side. Now we have got full party officially, so we don't need anyone else. Your company and your council, if you're willing to let me have them. You seem anxious, Kali. Is there anything you wanted to ask me? I was going to ask for your thoughts on something. I don't think I have time to listen to them. <laughs> you have nothing I require at the moment. Let's just do that. Is th that obvious? I have a favor to ask of you. Jahira and I told everyone we came north to rest. We were actually here on Harper business. Even so, I hoped we'd have some time to ourselves. You certainly earned it. This is riveting, really. Do go on. A foolish hope. People like us are rarely allowed a respite. Uh, this would be nice to him, I won't. <laughs> Our anniversary approaches. I want to give Jahira a gift. One that shows her how much she means to me. Could you find me silk from a giant spider? See, everyone wants these things from spiders now. We dealt with them earlier, and it's not like we encounter them that often. Spider silk isn't very romantic. Something from a giant spider will show Jahira how much she means to you. I've got to ask, how much does she mean to you? <laughs> you get, you'd give her spider droppings as a gift? You don't know much about women, do you? <laughs> it's silk after all, I mean. Uh, I guess we'll do that one. 
When Jahir and I met, I'd never left the city before. Never been out in the wilderness. Jahir was horrified how little I knew of nature. She showed me how to follow animal tracks, identify plants. She showed me a trick for curing spider silk. If I can get some, I can turn it into a beautiful sparkling thread to weave her a necklace from. That does sound nice. If I find some giant spider silk, I'll bring it to you. Alright, that doesn't sound nearly as terrible as, I, as it did at, at first. I'll try to track some down for you. In times such as these, we can't afford sentiment. Perhaps I will find some of this silk, but you must promise to focus on the matter matters at hand before wasting time making trinkets. Uh... I don't know. I guess we'll just do this straightforward one. Thank you, my friend. We have to take the opportunity to show our affection when we can. None of us will live forever. All right, all right. Gotta appreciate who we have, what we have, while we have it. All right, I don't know how the mic is tonight. It's a little further than usual. I'm still getting used to this new setup, kind of. So maybe we can bring it later in the future. But for now, thank you for bearing with me. If it's not quite the volume, it should be, but. Trying out some new setup. Got some great stuff ahead, so. Got what we got for now. Alright, some more spider stuff. We find the seven legged, -legged spiders. Things like that. The chickens are. Came out of somewhere. Alright, got that other side quest. I think we're done here. Oh, yeah. Keep their hail cold on the front. We wiped out the entire Crusader camp, even though it wasn't from our uh, incentive to charge them at that time. But oh well, let's go ahead and move on. We got the full party. I guess that's what really matters. And other side quests in the area and stuff. Uh, oh yeah, where is Therantus? It's one of the soldiers. Is he inside? Can I just lift inside? Oh well. I don't know. I think we've spent enough time here. We can carry on. Let's go ahead. What? That's good for now. The towering statue of Bale, the dead lord of murder, glares across the length of Borskir Bridge at an equally imposing stone likeness of Sirik, the mad god that killed him. Ah, just look at that. Yeah, I really like how they polished so many more things here. It's kind of, you know, still the same feel of the main game, all that. The best parts of it. But they really did improve several things and really took their time and made every little area and such more enjoyable. So um, I'd say it's an improvement for, I mean, being 20 years later for one, but still, it's awesome. The man with the statue of Cyric stands at the north end of Borskir Bridge. His arm is outstretched, reaching for the giant stone figure that glares accusingly at him from the bridge's southern side. I think that'll do it for now. Oh, what do we got here? Wooden bucket swings from a rope tied. Yeah, I knew I heard some kind of magic. What is going on here? <laughs> oh, well, which. Throw in one gold piece, throw in 25 gold pieces, throw in 100 gold pieces, put an item in the well, leave the well alone. The one bucket sways in the breeze. Well, I guess we can try one of each. Yes, I so, One gold piece, the one bucket sways in the breeze. 25. It's a good way to lose our money. 46,000. 25. Oh! Got a blessing from that. 100 gold. So, 25 gives us uh, a blessing. 100 heals us. Nice. Put an item in the well. By using the winch, the bucket, and anything it holds can be lowered into the well. Uh, like this. Alright. I shall put the mirror. <laughs> I guess that's how you lower it, but I have no idea what we put. What the heck? Where did I get a dusty chicken from? Daily morning delicacy in many farms and cities throughout the Sword Coast region. 
The chicken's feathers are dusty and bed raggled. It could use a bath. Put you in the well, too. Whoa! Little wonder. Apparently that- they didn't want the chicken. Apparently that's what I was supposed to put in there. I'm gonna reload anyway, but... Interesting. That dog's constant yapping grates on me. Be gone, Kerr. <coughs> Despite its diminutive dimensions, the dog has a dauntless demeanor. I dare say it would have distinguished itself in my pit of peril. I never ate chicken until I left the Underdark. It tastes very similar to cockatrice. Where did I even get the chicken from? I was just looking at the ones in camp and all of a sudden I had it. That's cool. <coughs> <coughs> So apparently we're supposed to do that. So let's load before we waste all these other things here. I don't know, it's just no point in doing that. So now we can get the blessing. We don't need healing. So. Blessing. Party. And we put the freaking. And apparently you can't do the other options once you have all that. So that's just the one and done. And he just comes out of the bushes. Look at that. I never ate chicken until I left. Oh, I do get XP for that, so. Yeah, you don't get any of the other gold options once you do the item one, so that's important to know. If you want any more blessings or healing, you can't do that after you put the chicken in the well. Okay, then. Let's carry on. We got a blessing out of it. We got some XP out of it and a nice little interaction. <laughs> Such and the sounds of battle are still going on that probably an audio reload bug. Oh, we have it again. That's weird. Oh, it's this. Oh. You gotta get to the main camp for the bag of holding. Uh, I think you'd have to go backwards for that, but there should be another one forwards. At least I would hope so. Yes. But there definitely wasn't one there at the Crusader camp from what I saw, so... There was, we completely missed it. Oh, Dorn says, It is good to be out of that accursed cage. I have a knot in my back I'll feel for weeks. What were you thinking, attacking all those people? A back rub would do wonders for you. I have no time for whining. <laughs> Alright. One second here. Alrighty, so that is that. Looking good. That went fine. And what were you thinking? A back rub or I've no time for whining. Well, I guess we don't adhere to the simple pleasures of life. <laughs> I am not some child to be cuddled. Forget I said anything. Why don't you tell me why you attacked all those people? That's not what I meant. Don't take that tone with me. Remember which of us was caged up like a dog. Well, that's kind of the more realistic one, probably. But, um... I don't know, tease him for more anger later on, perhaps. I'll let that pass. Count yourself lucky you freed me, Imaloth. I would not be so lenient with another. My words were careless. Tell me, why did you attack? You seem awfully tense, Storm. Perhaps you could use it. It's the same freaking thing. Attack me and you'll be back in that cage before you can blink. Enough talk. Let's get moving. It's the same thing. I attacked a single person, regrettably. I was made to attack him while he addressed near everyone in the camp. What do you mean you were made to attack him? Why did you attack anyone? I have no time for one. I was tasked with eliminating Hormorn, a priest of Kalar, as he performed the crusade's so-called ritual of enlightenment. I was not told the ritual involved nearly every crusader in a ten-mile radius. Then why did you do it? Not the easiest task in the world, but you tried anyway. Enough of your insane chatter, we need to move on. I must do as my patron Urgothas bids. Regardless of my feelings on the matter, 
My covenant with him requires my obedience. In exchange, he grants me my dark power. That's right. Okay. What is that power worth if it means you can be forced to charge into an unwinningable battle? And if you don't obey, then you are not but a slave. I thought better of you, Dorn. At best, Urgathaz would cut me off from his power. He would, in all likelihood, kill me for my insolence. In the meantime, though, you have strength and course, courage, the likes of which I have never seen. But you are not but a slave, I thought better of you. We all have a price to pay for our abilities, I suppose. Come, we should move on. Well, I'm more powerful than him, so we don't need to do that. Lead on, on and I will follow you into battle. Take care to bring me to your enemy soon, that I may slate my bloodlust. Alright, moving on, guys. On to the next part. What is such menial task? That will be fine. The champions out and about tonight, Sunday night. But a schedule soon, make it easier for all our champions and dragon knights to tune in. So what? Looking forward to that. It's a better, more succinct community. For now, we are going to Coalition Camp. 336 hours away. I guess so. <laughs> so that's, let me see, 336 hours, that's more than 10 days, that's, yeah, like two weeks. Two weeks of traveling. That's, uh, yeah, more than two weeks of traveling. 40 hours. It's 240 plus another 10, so that's, yeah, almost like a month. Well, I guess here we go, guys. We did our quick saves, we did our hard saves when we needed to. Let's move the heck on. Get a good old month of <laughs> traveling to the Coalition Camp. Here we go. Signs of the Crusade's recent presence can be seen on the road to Dragonspear Castle, but the Shining Lady's actual servants are rarely encountered. The few Crusaders you spy in the distance invariably retreat at the first opportunity. As the march wears on, fatigue grips your company tempers flare within the caravan. Your reputation as the hero of Baldur's Gate protects you from petty squabbles and angry outbursts. Or perhaps, after what happened on Boriskir Bridge, there is another reason few are willing to cross you. These thoughts are put aside when you see the banners of Waterdeep, Daggerford, and the flaming fist at the edge of the Coalition siege camp. Dragonspear Castle is near. And so is Kalar's Day of Reckoning. Alright then. Moving straight to the point. Probably do multiple playthroughs of this one for sure. It's probably yeah, pretty much shorter than the main story, right? So, do enjoy seeing it for all it's worth. Lots of great stuff though. Really enjoy it. Cool. Oh boy. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> That's a dragon, all right. Smaller than the green. Why does she still refuse me? How can she deny the righteousness of our cause? We speak of a child of Baal. And yet the Baal spawn is the hero of Baldur's Gate, and by all accounts saved the Sword Coast from ruin during the Iron Crisis. You cannot ask me to show mercy to this abomination. Not after what happened to my brother. For the good of the Crusade, you must. We cannot take the Balspawn's life. Forgive me, my lady. I do not know if I can do that. Clip you those can. Ones. I have faith in you, Ashatil. For us, forgiveness must prevail over revenge. Alrighty. That was that. In this instance, I'm sure there's a different one if you do the surrender to them, basically. Finally, you're here. Good evening to you, sir. I'm Loth. I was just about to say the same thing. I'm in Loth, and you are? No, no. Please skip the formalities and go straight to complaining about trivialities. And what of it? Would you have me apologize for the wait? I'm Kirill Nederlock, Marshal of the Burnstone Cadre. I command the Flaming Fist contingent of the Dragon Spear Campaign. 
Good to meet you, Marshal. I'm sure you and your people haven't had it easy these past few weeks. I hope our arrival will turn the tide somewhat. I'm glad for you. Where's Kalara? I would see this matter finished. I should warn you, don't expect a warm reception here. Word of what happened at Borskir Bridge spread like wildfire. Many in this camp, too many, see you as Saravok's heir apparent. No words will change their minds, but through my actions they will know my heart. Of course they do. Who wouldn't? Why wouldn't they? I only risk my life to save the entire Sword Coast from his diabolical machinations. What they believe is of no consequence, but if they raise a hand against me, may the gods have mercy upon them. I won't. Crusades, flaming fists, shadow thieves, harper centaurum. I care not who is in service to what. Anyone fool enough to stand against me and mine will taste my steel. That's right, Dorn. <laughs> If anyone gives you trouble, report it to me. I'll take care of it. Sounds good, Nadarlock. Even though I killed dozens of your compatriots and fellow soldiers. Blue, you made it! Welcome to our first chatter, Blue Angel Dragon Knight. How you doing, Blue? You are Knight Blue after all. <laughs> Get back to you on Discord if you've uh, answered my question for the soundtrack there. Pretty fun. I hope everything's fine with you this fine Sunday. How you feeling? Welcome in, Siege of Dragon Spear, great fun. Get back to some Sunless Sea this week, and a lot of great fun announcements coming up. You're living, yes, that's <laughs> about as best as any of us can expect sometimes. <laughs> Thank you. Very fun. Good to see you, though, friend. Welcome in. Go get settled in now. After you've done that, come see me and the other city commanders at the large tent south of here. Alrighty. That'll be that. You call this? A simple matter. Oh, yes. First thing, you do want to get to that shopkeeper, but talk to Corwin. What do you need? Uh, join me. I promise I'll find a way to put them to better use. Ah, she don't be in the party. Wait, Bailoth actually. What's his? Oh, it's just the staff. Never mind. All right, where is this merchant we've been wanting all this time? Oh, Heldabar, that's the sleeping one, right? A baby crying. Oh! Who goes there? Outside the barricade. Ah, uh, sorry. <laughs> a little drink yesterday evening turned into a lot of drinks early this morning. I'm, uh, I'm not in the best shape right now. You look to me like someone dealing with more than a hangover. Is something wrong? You're alive. If you'd like to stay that way, you'd best pull yourself together when on duty. Aye, but I don't want to waste your time with my sorrows. I, I know you're an important person. I like to take make time for the ordinary people in my important life. What's your trouble? I asked you a question, dwarf. Answer me. Uh, Emiloth is more sophisticated. She doesn't have to be threatening right off the bat. She has enough power to back it up when she needs to, but she's a dark majesty black art with lots of interesting powers, so she doesn't need to just throw around her weight all the time. She's more sophisticated and, you know, seductive in her own dark way. It's... Ah, this is gonna sound so, so... Ah, hells. It's me lucky charm. Pebble. A pebble from Mithril Hall. I lost it somewhere on the march here. I'll have to go all the way back. Another month's travel just to find his pebble. <laughs> oh, I've had the most terrible luck since I realized it was gone. I lost it, cards. Spilled a full mug of ale in my beard. Probably die in battle now, the way things are going. Well, beard needs to drink, too. Alright, slow down there. It's skill that sees you through battle, not luck. Yeah, probably. Superstitious nonsense. It's just so... Wait. The other thing that went wrong is I got a hole in one of my boots. <laughs> okay. My patron god is Martha Murduin. His symbol is a boot with a mace against it. <laughs> Maybe if I get some fancy new boots, my luck will change back. There was those old boots in the barrel all the way back there. I know those were going to be useful for something. 
Jeez. <sighs> I'm telling you, this'll do it. I just need some good leather, and then maybe that quartermaster, Bellingarm, will order some made for me. Could you help me out? I heard a bear's been sighted around Dead Man's Pass, but I can't leave my post. Bring the bear's hide to Bellagarm and get me some new boots! Bears and spiders, all these various things. We never really had to fetch things like this before, so it's a different aspect for sure. If it'll make you feel better, I'll get you the boots. Alright, but you'll pay me well for those boots. Go barefoot. I'd not waste time with this nonsense. I know you're an important person with lots of things to do, but if you manage this, you'll have a loyal friend forever. Alright. Need to hunt a bear and dead man's pants. Still we wait. What simple matter? We're few, but fierce. And they're all trickling in up top there. What do we got here? We'll show the crusade, right? Lots of work to do. Put all the prisoners of the crusade surrenders. What do you need? Ah, some ammo in here. Plenty of stuff there. Plus two. Uh, you know, identify a bunch of them, so I'll try to remember to do that before we sleep. But. Yeah. Alright. Backpack. Don't want to can use some of them too. These are the acid bullets. to use them here, so may as well, I suppose. I remember to use our spells <laughs> the mirror at some point. Alright, let's see what else for now. We do have this really nice ammo we're gonna have to use at some point. First the fire darts, then the asmest poison unique unique darts. So we shall throw those with our dart proficiency. To see a blue, let us continue. What? Proudly emblazoned upon this banner is a Baldur's Gate coat of arms, a mighty ship with blue skies above and darker waters below. A pleasure it is to meet you. City of Splendor is involved with this. Let the flaming fist handle it, I say. Here's third when we do want to rest. I need a sword or some strong dwarven head. We'll show the crusade, right? Keeps troops well. Lots of work to do. Yes. Right turn. Oh, look at these. Yeah, I haven't seen much of a. Uh... I thought we were gonna get her in the party, but. Um. Oh boy. A simple matter. You know, the daughter, bratty daughter. We're a bunch of pathetic babies. I've never seen a worse lot in my entire career! <laughs> Trouble's vigilant. Good luck with them, vigilant. You said it. They're a dagger for detail, not used to the experience and discipline we get in Waterdeep. Will you be able to whip them into shape? You should send them back to Daggerford. Place them at the front of the unit. They'll die in the first charge, but at least they'll tire the enemy out. <laughs> Oh, jeez. <laughs> Love to send the back to for, but we need every soldier we can get. Even ones as useless as these. Perhaps I could try training them for you. Why don't I take over training for a bit? I could certainly... can't make them any worse. Let me take a run at them. I'll show them real discipline. Good luck with them, Vigilant. I have to be going. You're the hero of Baldur's Gate. Why not? Come talk to me when you finish drilling them, and we'll see how you did. Dismissed. Well, okay, so you gotta do this now. Talk to each recruit and then report back to her. Oh, boy. You are welcome here. Attack a fellow recruit and show me what you've got. You've 
got the basic forms, but you're repetitive. As you get more skilled, you get more creative. But for now, remember, vary your attack patterns. Can you offer Geralt any advice? Your form is good, but you need to hit harder and faster. Try moving patterns as quickly as possible. I guess we could ask Edward. <laughs> it's always good, I guess. It's obvious this weakling is no soldier. I've eaten chickens with thicker legs than his. He seems moderately intelligent, though. Get him into mage training. He may be of use someday. I've always liked to study, but never considered wizardry. Thank you. I'll visit the mages at once. That works. The fair folk rarely have time for small talk. Elf. All right, soldier of small talk. <laughs> Take one of your fellow recruits, and I'll advise you on your technique. Not for that recruit over there. They're an enemy now. Destroy them. Ouch. You're not here to impress me. You're here to survive and protect the land. Let's spar so you can practice on a skill opponent. Uh oh. You need more attention, more energy. You're fighting for your life as well as Daggerford. Using live steel. <laughs> that will help greatly. You stabbed me in the ribs. <laughs> I think. Thank you for the personal attention. I'll keep practicing and let you get on with your duties. Moreless. You are welcome here. Let's see what you can do, soldier. Attack one of your comrades. I'll be trying to. Alright, for a start, let's see you attack one of the others. I think you killed them, soldier. That sort of uncontrolled attack will get you and everyone around you killed. Your fighting star reminds me of my own. You enjoy killing, don't you? You need to calm down. Focus your attacks. Let's try this again. Hmm. I, yes, I do enjoy it. I thought if I said so, though, they wouldn't let me in the militia. Men and women like us should not be bound by the arbitrary morality of others. Do what thou wilt is the only law we bow to. Remember that. You are what you are. Any attempt to suppress your true nature is doomed to fail. As you slay your enemies, you'll hear a calling in your soul. Answer it if you dare. Eh, whatever. I, I will. Thank you. Next ones. You are welcome in my sight. Danine, let's get to a private attack one of your companions while I evaluate your technique. And hello, Fable Lodge. You made it a little bit more today. And Beta Dungeons. Sorry, I didn't see you guys chat, so it's kind of blending in with the other colors. Go and find their Beta and Fable Lodge. Welcome in, champion. Got some exciting stuff, new schedule, things going, and. And uh, other amazing things on the way. So, big announcements, other schedule, other pages for the stream. But just a little quick one tonight, because I haven't really broke the stream cycle yet. <laughs> we'll start the official schedule soon. Dayblood, ordered already, right? When is that supposed to come in? Yep, should be this week or next week, and it should be a few days. Not too long there, Fablot. And Beta, easy to get lost in our page. <laughs> I just watch on the phone, so put that more direct here easier to keep up with you guys, but yeah, we're just doing a bit of fun here, we discovered these other spells we had, and we're trying to get the, the shopkeeper guy here, we traveled the whole month just now from the bridge to this area, close to, closer to the castle, so, yes, Fable Lot, very exciting, coming here shortly, we'll get that set up, good place, great gladiator fun, so we shall see all that stuff coming, and we get the new schedule, you can see that in the video about me, I'll, I'll feature that on stream next time, just show people, uh, front up what it looks like, and maybe clip that or something, or separate video so people can see that up close more easily but yep fun stuff a lot beta dungeons welcome in friends we also had blue chilling earlier so it's nice to see some of you we had a pretty calm one sunless sea last night but how far are you beta we're uh got past the main battle at that other encampment and now we have the other kalar uh one with the you know the dragon castle there they had that so right after the bale 
Nightmare and Cedric, and they kind of involuntarily attacked with uh, <laughs> Khalid went in like crazy. And yeah, Blue is still here. What do you know? But welcome in, guys. Great to see you. Fun shatters, fun time. We're just doing a little training for these guys. So let's get this over with. Hit your friend there with everything you've got. Do I look like a crust of bread to you, maggot? No. Then stop trying to butter me up. See that recruit over there? Kill. Oh, it's kind of funny. <laughs> I guess we could try that. <laughs> Doesn't make much difference for that. Oh. Stab, stab, dodge to the right, and stab again. So, yep, some fun stuff, guys. We'll feature that stuff on stream, get some other clips going, get some great things, get some other commands and play. Everyone can join our Steam and Discord and other fun stuff like that, so. We shall see. I watched the Oscars tonight, so that was fun as well. It was in a train station, which was different, but it was still good to see, so. Think of all the things that have happened since a year ago. It's quite a bit. Well, the Oscars were earlier last year, so. March, so. <laughs> Alright, you're tentative in your attacks and you move around too much. Try weaving in place instead of skipping and strike more forcefully. I want you to get in closer to the enemy and stab with more intent. Try that. That's kind of the same things, just different wording. How's this? <laughs> oh god. I think I like this method. You're much better. Keep practicing and you'll do fine. Alright, and the final sixth recruit, unless we can talk to him. Another day, more aimless stumbling about. Oh, it's a fine day. Meeting <laughs> new friends. Indeed. That's the attitude I like to see, soldier. Ready to go. Show that recruit over there what you've got. We'll see. Show one of your companions what happens to the enemies of Daggerford. You got it. For Daggerford. What is it? So yeah, thank you Blue, thank you Beta, thank you Faith a lot. Some fun stuff, exciting things, great champions, great fun. Bring the whole community together. Hopefully uh, your friend can get that sub badge for me before the end of the month, but she did say she had several other sub badges in play for now, Faith a lot, so. I saw your nice swords one last night, those are cool. You got all those different swords, so. I think we'll just do colors for now, different variations for months, but we can always do little other alterations and fun things in the future, so. Two stabs in the thigh, one in the stomach, says Clovista, and wait for him to fall. How's that, man? But you're striking heavily armored areas. Aim for the joints. You'll conserve energy and do more damage. You'll wear yourself out hitting those armor plates over and over. Look for injured enemies to finish off or challenge combatants of your size. That works. That makes a lot of sense. I'll start practicing right away. Yes, beta. <laughs> what? Did she say she was going to work on it? On stream, uh, she didn't mention anything about that, Fable Up, but she did say she had several in line, you know, and, and I have another, I have two other commissioners people, so I'm going to get people like four different commissioners a turn overall. That one other needs more commissions, other one have too many commissions, so try to balance that out a bit, but <laughs> other fun one that we uh, shouted out yesterday on the Discord, so we'll get them all some good business and cheer it up, and we'll also have our break-even donation goal which is going to be uh, close to two grand. We'll have that in the chillstone. We won't, we won't bother you with that in the main screen here, but we will put that in the chillstone, uh, chill zone type of area. Well, it's dragonstone, so I call it the chillstone. But yeah, we'll look forward to a two grand donation goal to break even at some point. But we're going to enjoy the journey in any case. So <laughs> we'll keep going. All right, practice right away. Clovisa, did we talk to this one, Haster, down here? You are welcome. All right, I'll kill them all. Easy the private. Let's see what you've got first. Attack. I like your attitude. Face off against one of the recruits and do your best. Do as I command and you will, yes. Before that happens, I want to see your work. Hit one of the recruits as hard as you can. Eh. Yes, ma'am. Er, which recruit should I attack? So if I start a new character from the Siege of Dancers, like they have all that experience before, so it would make sense to do this one in the proper order. So sequentially and chronologically when we do do our second playthrough at some point. What was that face for, Beta? <laughs> Is it something I said for <laughs> the uh, progress or something one of the people sitting here kicking? <laughs> trying to <laughs> get your perspective. Oh, good. Alright, which recruit should I attack? 
really doesn't matter. Just pick one and hit them. The ugly one. Any of them. Just hurry up. You're wasting my time. <laughs> Let's do the ugly one. <laughs> uh, would you like me to start with my sword or begin at range with my crossbow? Shoot him with the crossbow. Like, that's gonna be a good idea. It can always seem like that's a bad idea to start with. Badges is was wondering what's up. Oh, yeah, just our sub badges. We'll get him shortly here. Get uh, our first two commissions. And then we have some more commissions after that. So. But we need to get sub sub uh, emote unlocks first. We need to uh, unlock a second emote before we do, do that. And we'll see if we want to do any more for just the sub badge. All the projects go well. Think beta should be fine. So I feel like this would be a really bad idea, crossbow, but I don't care, man. They're just having... Army Emiloth is more interested in her own ordeals than the welfare, the, the, the welfare of the whole city. <laughs> All right, uh, my weapons seem to be broken. Maybe you could train one of the other recruits and get back to me. Are you stalling, soldier? Try asking the enemy to come back when you're ready. See how far that gets you. Attack a recruit, or I attack you. Which would you prefer? Kind of the same thing here, but then we'll have a bit more intrusive and direct. Yes, ma'am. Sorry, ma'am. Every fighter gets nervous from time to time. There's no shame in it. I can teach you some tricks to help you focus. Vissonia, you look like you have something to say. That'll work. Ignore everything around you and concentrate on why you're here. Okay. Everyone fears death, young one. It's the natural state of mortals. Shar teaches that it's foolish to chase hope or plan over much for the future. Death comes to all of us in the end. It's what we do in the moment that matters. Good tip from Visonia. So by trying to avoid battle and all that comes with it, I'm missing out on my life now? <laughs> life is loss. In the end, we lose our lives. Accept that truth and move forward. Alrighty, Visonia. I... I'll try. You are welcome in my sight. I think that's everyone. Let's talk to the vigilant. What a bunch of pathetic babies! I've never seen a worse lot in my entire career! I've finished training the recruits. Let's see how you did. They're better than they were, I'll give you that. Not amazing, but better. It took some time and patience to get them even to this level. There's limits to what even I can do in a few hours. It was no easy task. I appreciate you trying anyway. Who knows? You might have saved a couple of their lives. Here, take this armor. It doesn't fit any of the recruits and it might keep you alive. That it's better than anything we have, but we'll see. Given the level of incompetence I was dealing with, your soldiers might need it more than I do. Ill-fitting or not, but I'll still take it. Thanks. That's <laughs> just completely unnecessary. This is the best you can give me. It'll have to do. Dismiss. Chainmail. Is regular... Oh, it's something. Let me see. Commander's chainmail plus three. Though the dense and dull spots of this chainmail slow show its use, someone has taken good care of the armor. Patches of bright new links show where the armor has been carefully mended. The lack of ornamentation or gilded patterns on the suit gives it an honest look, as if this were the armor of a soldier who served well and honorably. Charisma plus one. The wearer and any allies within her vigil radius are immune to fear and morale failure. Failure. We never really get morale failure, but it has happened. Just not as often in this mode. Uh, still pretty good ability there. Not better than hers. Definitely not better than Dorn's. And... Oh, there you go. Yep. Sonia, indeed. Perfect. Indeed better than Splint Mail plus one. Awesome. Good deal there. Good stuff. Alright guys, finish off for the evening. Let's see what else around here. Trying to get to that uh, merchant. He's somewhere around here. Okay. I should probably do a hard save. Just move too deep into the area. It's been a little while. I'm off 5, I'm off 3. Alright, where is that dang merchant? My bag of holding has been waiting. Isn't that silly though, uh, Beta? They only did the potion cases, scroll cases, key ring, and ammo belt, and bag of holding for that matter. 
in Siege of Dragon Spear. Why didn't they just carry it off from Enhanced Edition? Unless they did do that, and I just didn't have the DLC yet to get it. That's what it is. So I basically did do the nostalgic way of playing how it was in the 90s. Even though it was on Enhanced Edition, I didn't get Siege of Dragon Spear yet to finish all those patches and updates and improvements. So now you know what it's like before they finally did add these very, very great quality of life improving things like that. So we're going to get our second gym bag. We're good for two potion cases, good for one scroll case, good for one ammo belt at the moment, and a gym of holding on top of all that. So it's going to make it very nice. As soon as we find this merchant guy. Oh. Good day and hello to you. Soralis. For enhanced edition anyway. The only bags you got in Baldur's Gate 1 was gym bag and scroll case. Oh, I never got scroll case in my main playthrough. But, uh, oh. Yeah, we did have gym bag, so that's true. The golem has been reinforced and will join us in combat once we march to Dragon's Root Castle. Oh, there he is. Thanks, golem. Alright, Jeg. Emiloth, looks like you made it from Bridgeford, none the worse for wear. It's good to see you again, Jeg. Yes, looks. I have little use for kind words, Smith. What I require is your skill. We can might as well be persuasive and do that. Huh? Not sure how good it is to see you again. I heard what happened on Borskir Bridge. I guess we need every hand we can get to put an end to Kalar and her followers. Ooh, biased much? <laughs> Let me see what weapons and armor you have in stock. Here's what I have, what I've got that I'm comfortable allowing you to take in a battle. Something like that. <laughs> Chill axe. Stuff we've sold him mostly. Split man we don't need anymore. Hyped to get a bag of holding. Yeah, makes things so much easier, doesn't it? So, as soon as we find him, we can get it. And these journals are just lore things, wouldn't you say? The peace of night ends, and the hectic brightness of the day takes Do over. Do you need the tender box for anything? Because I kind of found that randomly. It's like, why would they give it to you if it's just junk, you know? But they do give you broken... They actually do give you junk. Destroy things. <laughs> so I guess it's just another thing like that. I mean, it's useful, but not to us. Or you have a fire sword for crying out loud. These guys. I welcome you with outstretched hand. Keep your distance, friend. I don't want you catching what I've got. Would you like this healing potion? My companion, Vasonia, can heal you. Uh, I got so many healing potions. <laughs> no, no. No healing. I am made to suffer. My pain brings me closer to the crying god. You don't want to be healed. I won't waste healing on one who doesn't want it. He speaks of Ilmater, god of suffering. Ilmater, the broken god, the lord on the rack, the one who endures. Every racking cough brings me closer to my faith. Just like the people who chastise themselves. So you truly don't wish to be healed. I won't waste healing on one who doesn't want it. You wouldn't understand. Only the faithful can comprehend Ilmater's wisdom and the purity that comes with perseverance. Do you understand what he's saying, Bisonia? Ilmater's followers embrace pain and loss. They believe suffering is a means to a greater end. Those who worship Shah know the truth. There is nothing noble in suffering needlessly. This man should accept healing and use his strength in service to his fellow fighters. Shah's perspective. You've convinced me, stranger. I must think of the greater good instead of my personal faith. You may heal me. Is Sonia heal the man? You're the one who's speaking for that, so. Why not use one of your spells? I've been a healing potion before. Now you get a personal drow touch to it. I feel better. No. No, what have I done? Forgive me, Ilmater. Your servant has failed you. But you, Imala, you did help me. Take these as thanks. I'll keep the whip, though. After this, I have much to atone for. <laughs> you go ahead and do that, then. Whatever you need to do, just keep the details to yourself. Any god that believes good health is something for followers to atone for is not worthy of such devotion. It's your choice, of course, but you're making a foolish one. Well, it's an opinion, I guess. In your name, Ilmater. 50 gold and some gems and a wand. Ooh. 
to sleep. How many charges does it have? Just the one charge? Probably. Beterek. You. Again. It looks like just the one charge. <laughs> yes, yes, I see. Yes? I? So you You've say. You've overcome much in life. That is worthy of respect. What is a simple matter? Okay. You help me. Your comment is unexpected, but oh, he was talking to her. <laughs> Injured. All right, water hit soldier. I need a swig or some strong. Bunch of thugs from a city of thugs. We don't need them here. And Patriscus. This and that to be done. No time to stay oh, yeah. in chatter. There they are again. This guy and the one he's always trying to get, always trying to get Vasonia back. He's always here, crazy. All right, guys. So let's finish it off with some night then. Oi, hero! My words with you. The same thing as always. You think me a possession, Falg? That's the. Get me gone! I want nothing more to do with you. The third time they've done that. And he disappeared. Oh, this time he at least walks away. <laughs> Alright, where- Oh, Dina here in Minsk. There they are. Nira, there as well. Khalid, Jahira, Rasad, and Rafe, Rafish. What? Vogelin. Which one of them was the version? Oh, this one, this guy. Shriek! How can the Lion of Luskin be of service to you at this time? Yes, such menial cat. What is it? I know the merchant guy is here somewhere. <laughs> uh, priest, yes. What such menial tasks? Where are you, merchant man? And the banner Baldur's Gate could have the same one. I know he must be here. That's gonna make me travel all the way back. To the first area. I do not like the way our allies look at me. <laughs> Go back to the first area for the merchant? That's insane. Is it Belagar? Yeah, there he is. I have many fine wares. I uh passed right by him apparently. <laughs> anyway. Magical items. Bag of holding. Uh there it is. Fifteen fifteen thousand. Well worth it. It's actually cheaper now, isn't it? It was more expensive before, I, I think. Well, we got it. Thanks, buddy. Don't know how much room it has, but probably a decent amount. Let's buy the second gem purse as well. Now, where's that goblin? We need to give her that thing. In the meantime, I can put other stuff. But yeah, for now we know. Got a bag of holding with a bunch of things to put in it, so we'll find the goblin maybe somewhere around here. Give her the armor and we'll carry on. Looks like the next area from here will be a uh, quest from someone. I don't actually know how to continue from here, so look forward to discovering that next time. For now though, did buy the bag of holding. Got a lot of gold left over for ammo and other stuff. Got our compatriots here, so we'll probably talk to them. Can I help you? Nature's servant awaits. Yes? Perhaps there is some intelligence in you after all. This guy. Back hold. Ah, uh, yes. Alright, look forward to that next time. Let's get a quick raid in for tonight, guys. Thank you for stopping by. Do you much appreciate their beta champion, Fabelot Blue. And yeah, I'll see you guys soon. <laughs> Back to the Chillstone for now. Thank you guys for chatting there. We'll get some other exciting things going, including a Tier 1. I mean, a Tier 2. Tier 2 version of that emote will be our Tier 2, I think. A slightly different version now. Be nice. So I'll make good use of that. Alright, guys. I will see you tomorrow. Monday. Sunless Sea or others. Fun stuff. Great schedule. Great. Very exciting announcement coming this week. So definitely by the weekend next weekend alrighty guys we will raid I don't remember that guy
Remember him when I started streaming, we kept seeing a bunch of stuff from him, so why not raid Mr. Hateless Heart? I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for watching on YouTube. Thank you for the chatters. Making a very nice, shorter stream tonight, but we shall be back to it shortly. So, see you then, guys. Have a great night, and I'll see you tomorrow. Night for now. Appreciate it.